Let's take a look. Greetings and welcome to a Faust guide. This one is going to be covering Fort Fukio and the mashing options Faust has to stop it. This is going to be very helpful at punishing aggressive Nagoriki players who overuse Fukio to sustain their pressure. I'm not going to be talking over this entire video because it's way, way, way too long and I will never be able to record a commentary that long without making a thousand and one mistakes. So I just want to cover the basics at the start and then talk a little bit here and there throughout the video to give you some extra context since context is important with all of this. This is covering the Ford Fukio into throw. The options I show in this video will beat that, but in context, Nagoriyuki has options to stop this with back Fukio and Beyblade and doing clone into Fukio, stuff like that. So just keep that into consideration. This isn't a do this all the time because it will beat everything, it won't. It will just condition the Nagoriyuki to stop abusing Ford Fukio and have to start respecting your defense more and structuring his offense around that. Forward Fukio for Nagoriyuki is 25 frames of recovery. To give you an idea of how big this is, Faust's 6 HS, his slowest button, if you play Faust you'll know how slow this button is, that has a startup of 25 frames, so it's exactly the same as Nagoriyuki's Forward Fukio. But if Nagoriyuki wants to do something after Forward Fukio, say he wants to do throw, which is his fastest button, you have to add the startup frames of that move to the Fukio, so the 25 frames now becomes 27. If he wants to do, let's say, command grab, again it's very common for Nogoruki players to do this, that is 7 frames, so you gotta add that to the 25 frames. So very quickly this gets out of hand and it, this gap gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the more of a powerful option he wants to use after it. So if he wants to do forward Fukio into closest, that is again another 7 frames. I wanted to cover options Faust has in mashing, specifically what buttons can you press, what do those buttons lead to, and what kind of reward can you get from those buttons, and what kind of situations do those buttons lead into, can you get out of the corner, can you side switch and break the wall, can you side switch and do corner pressure, can you reset to mid screen, can you get any kind of okizeme situations after. So there's a little bit of everything in here from meterless ways to stop it that don't really lead to much, metered ways to stop it that are more rewarding but are more tricky to do, like Colossus, you'll see that a little, uh, little bit later on, as well as some metered options that do decent damage. Some of this stuff actually leads into quite massive combos as well as some, I don't want to say decent yet because I haven't tried it online because again my arcade stick broke, but some decent in testing sort of Oki's MA thrust situations because uh, you can do some like soft knockdowns into thrust meaties and depending on the button Nagoriki uses you're either completely safe, you can punish him or it can be bad, you'll have to kind of test this for yourself. I can't really test it myself yet online but it seems pretty decent. Throughout this video you will see a bunch of different combos and different options that you have from it. At the end of the video I will have a basically a summary of what I've discovered when I was testing this, breaking down what options I think are best, what options are easiest, what options are the most rewarding, and stuff like that. I'll probably talk about that myself a little bit later on in the video when it comes to it, but until then I'll leave you with the rest of the video and I might chime in here and there to talk about some stuff that I think needs some extra information. I will eventually get around to doing a follow-up video to this, a Fukio part 2 covering the back Fukio since you're going to need to understand how to beat or defend against back Fukio since back Fukio is the counter option to your mashing to stop forward Fukio. It will be a while before I do that though because my hitbox is broke and I need to get a new one. I have a new one coming, it will be coming in a few days but it's a hitbox and I've never used a hitbox so it's gonna take some time to get used to it. So it might take me a few days, it might take me a few weeks, I really don't know how long it's going to take me to make a follow up video to this, since I have no clue how long I'm going to take to get used to a hitbox. But there will be a follow up video to this eventually. I also won't be posting much gameplay or anything like that in the meantime because 
I am going to be really, really bad at this game again. I am dreading learning how to do mixed loops on a hitbox. It took me hundreds of hours to figure out how to do it on an arcade stick. So the next few weeks are going to be very interesting for me. But with that being said, I'll leave you with the rest of the video.
Process is your overall best option, as it has the best reward with and without meter. It has the best scaling options, making it more consistent and allowing you to get out of the corner when you don't have meter. But the big negative of Closess is that it requires good reactions, since it has the longest startup of any of the other options. So you, you don't need to be looking for Fukio, but you need to be able to react to the Fukio fast enough to get it. You can also burst bait with it, which is very good, because Nagoriki players do like to burst when you hit them out of their forward Fukio. The only other option that can do this is 5k. Snip Snip Snip, or the Command Grab, is your second best option. Since it leads into good damage, it leads into a safe jump, it leads into left right mix, it leads into strike throw mix. Because it's a throw, it can't be burst, so burst is completely out of the window when you do it. Leads into good set play. Overall, very strong option. It's also a 6 frame startup, so it's faster than the closest, so it's easier to use on reaction. 5k and 2k are your third best options. I've listed both of them because they are both really good, although the 5k is slightly better than the 2k in my opinion. These options are both easier than the throw and the closest because they are both fast and they both have better range than snip snip snip. So even though they are one frame slower in terms of startup than snip 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 at seven frames, because of the increased range, they are more likely to hit where sometimes depending on the spacing, you might whiff a uh, command grab. They both lead into decent reward, although the closest has much better reward and Snip or the Command Grab has better potential reward than the 5k and the 2k. The reason the 5k is, in my opinion, slightly better than the 2k is because, like the closest, you can burst bait with it. You can't do that with the 2k, so it is slightly better. And last but definitely not least, as these three options are still very, very good, is throw, 5p and 2p in that order. Throw is good because, like Command Grab, it can't be burst. So you just get it, don't have to worry about the burst. You can side switch with it so you can put your opponent in the corner and if they do then decide to burst, it's okay because you're not getting burst into the corner. Throw is also a two frame startup, so if you react slowly to the Fukio, this is a very, very good option because even with slow reaction speed, you should still be able to get this consistently. 5p is your second fastest option and it is slightly worse than throw but it is still good. You get decent gatling options from it since you can hit confirm 5p into 6p into item DOS. Depending on the item, the situation might be in your favour or not, but it's still good just to get them off you. 2p is last because it is slower than 5p and it is slower than throw. It has the increased range but that's not really much of a factor in my opinion. Depending on how far away they are when you hit them with the 2p, you might not be able to get the 6p, so in that sense it's not good, especially considering that 2p on hit is zero, so basically it resets neutral, meaning neither you nor the Nagoriyuki are at advantage, which is bad. Well, it's not bad, but you should always try to get an advantage in any situation you're in, just to stack the odds in your favour that you will come out on top and not your opponent. This is why 2p, in my opinion, is the weakest option. But since you'll be crouch blocking in the corner, it is a very easy, quick and reliable option to do. It's just the situation after the 2p, even if you connect with the 2p, isn't good unless you are close enough to get a 6p. If you're not close enough to get a 6p and you gatling into it, you leave yourself open to being whiff punished. So that is why it is the weakest option, but it is still good if all the other options aren't easy for you to do. But with that being said, that will bring this video to an end. Uh, I hope you liked the video, I hoped it was informative and you learned something from it. If I've overlooked anything or missed anything out that you know about you no know, grounded mashing options to beat forward Fukio, leave it in the comments, help other people out. I hope this video helped you out, thanks for watching.